it finally came in. Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to my new video. I told you guys I was going to unbox this MacBook Pro on the camera and it actually came in way earlier than I expected it to and I actually got the day off. So today is going to be completely dedicated to just unboxing this thing, setting it up, seeing what it's like, and just immersing myself into the Apple ecosystem because I have a iPhone, I have a Apple Watch, but I never had a MacBook Pro or a MacBook or anything like that. If you like the lighting, let me know. I'm trying to change a few things up because my videos, my last video was a little bit bland, made me look a little bit more two dimensional rather than, you know, three dimensional. It made me look kind of weird. So I'm trying to use what I have right now because obviously I'm going to Disney World so I can't upgrade my setup at the moment other than of course this guy, but we'll get into that. I also got another piece of equipment that we will be testing out in this video and I will be editing this video completely in my MacBook Pro to see how I like it and I will also be testing just the trackpad. I'm not even going to use a mouse. So I'm going to see how I like it and all that stuff. So yeah guys, let's get into the unboxing. Hey yo, welcome back boys and girls. Got both of my packages ready to go and ready to open. Got my scissors right here and I'm I'm ready to go. This is a little bit of a different angle. All you see is my hands, but I wanted to make sure you guys could see the product. And I mean, obviously this is big enough for you to be able to see. So it might be a little bit lopsided, but I tried my best to get, all I have is the Joby Gorillapod, a smaller handheld Gorillapod, and I have a really big stand that I can put my camera on that's it so first we're gonna go ahead and start with this guy right here move that off to the side obviously you guys probably know what this looks like I mean I opened it yesterday I thought it was pretty nice I wanted to make sure everything was there it comes with a little case which is pretty cool little leather case that you can store it in obviously and then here it is right here it's actually magnetic as you can see it has the ports the two ports on the side of the macbook pros that they have now so that's pretty cool comes with that and then it also comes with the little cable so that's pretty all right now let's get to the main event which is right here it's trying to track my hands which is weird let me i'll just turn off the tracking for now but let's go ahead and open this guy up real quick i hope you guys like my little job that i did right here so you guys couldn't see the, the address or anything like that that was pretty interesting of me to do. That is weird how they have it packed in there. Look at that, MacBook Pro. I don't know if the guy did it or not. The, the guy that was delivering my package, it sounded like he slammed the package down on the ground. Kind of like just threw it on the ground whenever he was dropping it off. So that was pretty annoying. Here it is. We're gonna go ahead and unbox this bad boy. Brand new, never had a MacBook ever in my entire life. So this is gonna be pretty cool to actually get into and see what it's like actually use. So let's go ahead and get this plastic off. All right, it's ready to come out of there. Let me throw this off to the side. Open, 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 open. Oh man, that's some thick box. All right, we'll put this guy off to the side. That's pretty nice. There it is, there it is guys. Nice brand new MacBook that we'll set off to the side. Obviously, we've got the charging cable, which I'm pretty sure this is pretty long, which it will be nice because obviously I'm going to be traveling a lot in the coming weeks. I know we've got some stickers in here. It looks like it was open. I don't know, I, don't, I can't tell, but it looked like it was open. Maybe that was just the thing to be able to get it out. Come on out of there. Okay, well, I guess that's it. There we go, space gray stickers. That's pretty cool. Shove this stuff back in there. Designed by Apple in California. And this is the last piece that this actually comes with, which is bizarre. Well, I just screwed that up. It was supposed to be opened a certain way. Oh man, that feels so weird. But yeah, that's it. Other than the MacBook, which I'm going to likely get into, I'm actually going to be editing this video using the SD card reader on this guy. I'm gonna make sure all the firmware is updated, all the software and everything is to be updated before I actually use this thing. Because from what I've been watching and reading about this thing, if you don't have the most up-to-date software for this thing and you try to plug one of these in, it could ruin your entire computer, your battery charging. What I've been reading is you got to actually charge this thing to 100%, make sure everything's 
downloaded, ready to go, then you can plug this guy. I'll probably do that. I'm gonna actually take this off so you guys can see it. If you guys were wondering, this is the 13 inch MacBook Pro with 16 gigs of RAM. I actually upgraded the RAM because I didn't wanna have the lower spec of RAM because I'm going to be using this thing for video editing and Photoshop and stuff like that. Of, of course, while I'm actually traveling, this thing is kind of cold. So I didn't wanna actually have less capable laptop. I wanted to have the most capable laptop that I could possibly get and this one happened to be the one that I could afford at this time. Obviously I'm going to Disney. I'm not trying to spend a shit ton of money. So this one was the best deal around $14.99. Yeah. I'm going to get this guy set up and then in about a month or so, whenever I get to Disney, whenever I get back from Disney, I'll probably do a review, see how this guy feels when traveling. I've never had a MacBook, so it does feel a little bit heavy to me personally, but it's not very heavy. It feels like it'll go in my camera bag, I'll be able to take it and it'll be fine. We'll see what it actually feels like whenever I get set up and whenever I start actually doing my workflow set of things. And in about a month, I'll give my review, I'll make a video reviewing this thing versus my PC. Obviously this thing's not gonna do as good as my PC, but it could outshine it in some places, which will be nice. I will probably cut to some videos where I'm just vlogging. Me and my wife are going tanning this afternoon, so I'll, I might vlog going there, but tanning salons are kind of a little bit weird. You're not supposed to bring cameras. You're barely allowed to bring your phone type thing. So we'll see what happens. I will definitely vlog some more so you guys see my face a little bit more. I'll be back. All right. so. So welcome back guys. I know I said I was going to vlog for the rest of this video, but I decided not to. Mainly because yesterday I went tanning, I forgot my camera, I just didn't feel like bringing it for multiple reasons. I've got it all set up, it's on my channel right now. I actually edited the video last night. Everything is done, which is good, so all I have to do is add this part. Let me tell you. The editing experience on this little thing is completely out of the world. I never expected for me to like it so much, especially with the, you can see my hands are a little bit bigger than you would expect with a small laptop. And obviously I didn't see myself enjoying the workflow as much as I did, but it was phenomenal. Like I said, I'm going to be coming out with a video with a review completely about this thing in about a month or so, whenever I get back from Disney so I can add if I have any complaints or if I don't have any complaints about traveling with this thing because right now obviously it's just at my house I can just plug it in and everything like that I will say that in the M1, the beta on Premiere Pro, it did have a couple of hiccups, but of course, whenever you're pretty much redoing everything for a new type of silicone, it will have a few hiccups here and there. So I'm not too worried about that. It was just a couple of small things, like whenever I was trying to add color corrections, or if I had multiple things open at once, it would slow the track down a little bit. That's not a big deal. I fixed it immediately by just deleting a couple of things off the track, and everything went smoothly from there. So far, this thing is really nice. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button. Let me know if you liked it by smashing that like button and just all around show some love. I'll catch you next time. Peace.